McLaren has a long and well-documented history on both road and track. Within that history is many a legend, but arguably none more fabled than that of the road-going than Le Mans winning McLaren F1. Unsatisfied with winning the most famous race in the world, McLaren enhanced the F1 GTR races to create the long tails. Lighter, faster and even more focused than before, they were the ultimate expression of McLaren's ingenuity and determination. Today, the long tail name lives on in McLaren's most hardcore, most focused road cars. This is the next chapter of the long tail story, the 600 LT. The previous long tail model was based on the 650S and it was mighty, mighty impressive. This new car is based on the smaller 570S, but it's by no means the 675LT's junior. You see, cornering speeds are on parity or greater than that of this car's predecessor. How? The 600LT's formula for success has two components, weight and aerodynamics. If you look at the front end of the car, it features a much more aggressive aerodynamic package. A jutting front splitter helps generate downforce, and exaggerated side skirts help keep the airflow tidy. And then you've got this big wide diffuser that runs the width of the car that works in tandem with this new fixed rear wing. It adds around 100 kilograms of downforce to the overall package. And then there are the showstoppers, these top-mounted exhausts. Now, they're not just there to look pretty, though they do shoot fire, but this actually helps save weight by shortening the length of the exhaust. In fact, all of the carbon fibre miscellaneous that this car has helps contribute to a 100 kilo weight saving overall. You can even option in the seats from the McLaren Senna. So welcome to the Hungaro Ring. Where better to test this track-focused 570? Exiting the pit lanes here, just a bit of background, we're on those new Trofeo R tyres, but it is a bit greasy out there, so this could be a real test of how compliant and how tangible the chassis is from a driver's perspective. Okay, so the headlines. 3.8 litre twin turbocharged V8 engine, mid-mounted. 592 brake horsepower, 475 pounds feet of torque. That's enough to get this car from zero to 62 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds, which is actually enough to rival the 675 LT. But the car comes with carbon ceramic brakes as we head down this little straight. We can demonstrate that. Braking force is good. Pedal is easy to modulate thanks to a brake booster taken from the McLaren Senna. Pedal response is really positive. There is a little bit of turbo lag from that turbocharged engine back there. But once you get past that initial whiff of it, the car is very, very responsive. You can really balance the car on the throttle through long, lingering corners like this one. So immediately you can feel that the nose of this car is much sharper, much more positive, much keener to turn in than a 570. Gearbox wonderfully responsive here. Here we go, hard on the brakes at the end of this really long straight, down fourth down third, down second, pitch it in, no hesitation. Very, very confidence inspiring car, very communicative car. My first thoughts actually driving this car earlier today was that it's very 911 GT3-esque in that respect. But obviously the aerodynamics do come into play at higher speeds in this car, it's 43 millimetres longer so the long tail name is justified. But to be honest with a really technical circuit like this what you really pick up it's the mechanical grip that this car has and how balanced the chassis is. Steering's brilliant. You can, you, you can feel through your fingertips and your backside exactly what is going on, the limit of adhesion. Brilliant. Back into this chicane. It's my favourite part because it really demonstrates the agility of this car. There we go. Back on the power, up a gear, hard on the brakes again. This is the sort of thing that this car is designed to do. It's designed to take the punishment. And I hope every owner of one of these cars does spend some time at a big circuit because it deserves 
to sing. It deserves to really be exploited. And it's something, there's something very rewarding for the driver in this car. It's not just because it's insanely quick, it is just absolutely there with you. It's one of those cars that I think you could probably drive until you run out of fuel. It's an absolute riot. To say that the 600LT is a more focused track variant of the 570S is a fact. It's more focused, it's more precise, it's more willing to set a faster lap time around a track. But that statement also simplifies the significance of the 600LT. You see, when McLaren Automotive first started their venture, they created incredibly capable cars. But whilst mathematically incredible, they were accused of creating synthetic supercars. The 600LT is an incredibly analog machine and arguably the most emotive McLaren there has been to date. Behind the wheel, it's an involving experience that really takes the fight to Porsche. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.